was going on inside the White House made the stuff in the streets look like a party. Reed's people were in there. Bob Black Arrow. And they were clearing it room by room. Reed had disabled most of the security from the third echelon. The EMP had taken care of the rest. All the president had left was secret. Sam was in, trying to make his way through the White House while the people he trained tried to kill him. As for Grim, well, she had the hard part. Oh, 
agent that you're washed up by. We can forget about it right now. I'm bulletproof. Goddamn bulletproof here. Oh, really? Oh! Oh, you shot me! Oh! Oh! Son of a bitch! Oh! Oh! God, holy shit! Time Grim got a hold of Sam. Reed's men were kicking in the Oval Office door. She was there. She could see that the President's protective detail was going down. The plan was for Sam to meet with Grim in the press room where they'd figure out what the hell to do next. Of course, Grim already had a plan, one she hadn't bothered to tell Sam about. That shouldn't have surprised them. Some things, some people just don't change.
I was a little rusty. So someone asked, pineapples, pineapples, my god, pineapples.
We're out of time, Sam. Where are you? I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking on the door to the old office right now. I saw we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double tap the president immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? Comfortable? Ah, fuck. Get up. You've got an appointment with the President.
those years you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat for the same reason. Because I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. Uh, I was wondering when you were going to get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stunt he pulled at the airfield. Well, he put up a little bit of a fight. Of course he did. And now he's here, the famous Sam Fisher, just in time to be useful. So how does it feel, Sam, knowing you're going to go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell? Look, he read. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. I don't honestly believe that this is going to work. The surveillance camera's footage is going to show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the pulse rise. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. That's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third Echelon nearly died. With Tom, him. you see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was going to shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you spent so many years. Talked to Sam once since he left. He told me that he and Sarah were going to take some time to catch up. Talked about learning who was really important to you. Why you always had to come back for him. He talked about family. And you know what the last thing he said to me was just before he hung up? Vicky said, Thanks for everything. I love you like a brother. Brother. That's bad, right? <laughs> nice thoughts, all. 